let's take a look at a couple of different ways to speed up our sketch process. So the first thing I want to show you is the auto rotate view when you're creating your sketches. So typically if you come up here and start a sketch on a front plane, it will automatically rotate your view when you're creating a sketch. Now, if I come out of the sketch and start a new sketch, it will not automatically rotate my view, nor will it automatically rotate my view when I edit that sketch. So we can go ahead and turn the option on to automatically do that for us up here in our system options and sketch. And the first option up here at the top is auto rotate view normal to sketch plane on sketch creation as well as sketch edit. So with that option turned on, if I come over here to the right plane or let's say the top plane and start a sketch, it will automatically rotate our view or field of vision to the top plane. I can do the same thing with the edit and it automatically rotates my view so that I can see that sketch. The other system option I want to show you is numeric screen input. So typically you might be creating dimensions with your smart dimension and adding in like such after you've created your geometry. You can also turn on an option where automatically the dimensions can be added as you're creating your geometry. So up here at the top, I'm going to turn that option on. It's going to be under sketch. Down at the bottom, we have the option here called enable on screen numeric input on entity creation. There's also a secondary option where it will automatically create the dimension only when the value is entered. So I'm going to go ahead and un uncheck that for now and see what the first option does for us. So I'll come, come back here and draw a circle. But this time as I'm drawing the circle, you'll see the white box appear with the dimension. So if I click here and create a circle, it's going to absorb that 23.87 dimension without me having to type it in. Now, you might not want that. So in the sketch, you can say that you only want the dimension to stick if you put a value in. So if I come back in here and try drawing a geometry, then you'll see that Unless I click and add in a value, it's not going to stick the dimension. We can also do this with a rectangle. If I come over here, type in 10, it'll automatically prompt me to the next dimension where I can type in 20, and I have my dimensions there.